October 2022, I just arrived in Australia and started my new job as an au pair. I'm sitting in the lounge room, a big map in front of me, and I'm thinking, what do I need to see in WA? My host mum's like, you need to go up north, up to Exmouth. No matter whether you want to snorkel, swim with whale sharks, ride a quad bike, or just relax. It's perfect. Very soon, I make a post in an au pair WhatsApp group looking for travel buddies. Many people are keen, but it's very hard to realize the idea. Too young to hire a car and the roads are dangerous due to the wildlife. I'm about to cancel the plan but last minute one of the travel buddies solves the problem she's gonna have a car. So here we go. Up to Exmouth two and a half thousand k's in total two and a half weeks of time lots of plans in our heads and ready, set, go! Okay, we gotta check the tires because the pressure in there is not enough, not high enough. So we just went to the petrol station and now I'm gonna fix this. Luckily someone came and helped us and showed us how it works and now we're just gonna fix this and then go further. So we arrived at the new campsite, which is free camping for now. It's called Tewitt's Reserve, something like that. And we're allowed to stay for 72 hours. Gonna Probably gonna spend two nights here. Um, just build up the tents. Hope we don't freeze tonight. The girls bought some sleeping bags and some other blankets. I did not because I did not want to spend my money, but um, I just put on all my clothes that I have. And, and like hope that I We'll survive. Good morning. Good morning! We arrived in Durian Bay. We spent the night at a free campsite and didn't have any phone service. So we just, you know, we're sitting here charging our phones and I ordered some coffee. So we got one more hour left. We'll see what's happening in one hour. Bye bye! Oh my god! I think we're all really excited. Yes. Uh, I'm nervous. Actually, I'm very scared. Yeah. Okay. I'm scared right now, but I think when we're on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. We realize we have to go up first by by the plane. A tiny, tiny plane, a shaky, tiny plane. Yeah, and then we gotta jump. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We'll keep you updated. We're gonna get the videos, and then you'll see. Okay. Bye. Very well, welcome to Scholar Turn Bay. Just about to jump on a plane now. Who's crazy idea was it? Um, uh, that was my idea. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm the most nervous one, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who's the most nervous one? How high are we going? 10,000. 10,000? Alright, so let's go, mate. Oh. Oh. Oh.
goggles now? What do you think? Oh my god, it looks so good. Is it cool? Yeah. Have I ever seen? Oh my god. Fish, 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 fish. <laughs> Fishes, fritz. Frische Fische, yeah, Fische so always. Frische, wait, what? Frisch. Fischers, fritz, fischt, frische, frisch, frische, 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 frische,
um, we were very glad we were here and we were able to sleep in beds, not in the tins. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave in like ten minutes, and it will be a long drive for like four hours or something. But I'm um, very excited for the landscapes in Mangi Maya. Shopping in Calvary before we leave. Prices up here are very high. <laughs> Why is it so windy? <laughs> okay, it's the next day. We're about to go for a hike. We're about to go for a walk. Um, it's pretty windy again. Slept terrible during the night. Um, because it's just so windy. It's because of the cyclone that is up north. The fucking cyclone said. Um, so we're all like scared that we're a tent we would just fly away but because it's from Kmart it's literally so cheap so yeah but we're still alive and now we're gonna go for a walk because it's too windy to go to the beach really and have a nice relaxed day so we're just gonna go for a walk spend some time there looking like a, looking like a ranger today So crazy, it's like literally just shells. Okay, so what do we think about Shell Beach? It's a, bit a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> uh, we already saw shells everywhere. We're disappointed. Yeah. 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 So the shells are bigger. Yeah. But right. They're not. They're yeah, just small. They look like sand. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, <my> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I got touched. It's not. <laughs> Okay, so in conclusion, it is beautiful, but I would not drive here just to see Shell Beach. <laughs> I lived in the Technik. Jungs, jetzt wird hier erstmal der Reifen aufgepumpt. Nochmal nachgecheckt. So Leute, Update, wir wollten gerade den Reifen aufpumpen, damit wir ein bisschen mehr Druck drin haben, weil das schon wieder ein bisschen runtergegangen ist. Jetzt fahren wir in irgendeine Petrol Station in keine Ahnung wo wir sind. Und jetzt haben wir einfach noch weniger Druck im Reifen, weil dieses Ding kaputt war. Und wir müssen
müssen noch 120 Kilometer jetzt irgendwo durch, durchs Outback fahren. Ey, ich glaube das gerade nicht. Wieso, wieso passiert sowas? Genau, wenn wir Luft brauchen, dann laden wir einfach den Rad. Das Auto zieht halt schon voll nach links, aber es war davor, glaube ich, auch schon. Scheiße, ey. Da hätten wir das mal nicht gemacht. Dafür konnten wir für 1,87 tanken, statt 2 Dollar 4. Guys, we arrived in Kanaven and we booked a hotel. Live reaction. Ja, okay, die Tür schon mal auf. Leute, wie geil ist das Oh, 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 nice. Oh, 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 Please, we've got a bloody pink rubbish bin. That's fancy. Well, the room's fine. We are in Kanaven, I'm gonna go grocery shopping and just being so happy that the apples and all the groceries are so cheap here. Cheap stuff. Cheap stuff. <laughs> like, yes. We don't have to be hungry anymore. Three packages of carrots for one dollar each. That's so good. Time for dinner. So we now bought a canister because we really had an issue thinking what to do because in Exmouth and Coral Bay we don't have a lot of petrol stations and there will be about like thousands of people going up for the eclipse so we might not have enough fuel to go up and down and back so it's really hard decision but now we bought one so we'll be safe. Also, the car is not really that big, so how to store it? So we just leave it in the hostel and then hope that there is enough to fill it up and leave it there. We are in Coral Bay. Two more hours till the eclipse. 